The new Nokia 8 flagship phone boasts some killer features, including that dual sight camera crafted in collaboration with optics experts called Zeiss. And at €599, Euros, it's also a damn sight cheaper than Samsung's Galaxy S8 flagship. So the question is, how do these two mighty Androids stack up and which is best for you? Well, when it comes to lux, we have to side with Samsung's phone. That edge-to-edge -edge design is still stunning, even months after launch. You'd never guess that the Galaxy S8 comes back in a 5.8 inch display, as the handset is so comfortable to clutch. In comparison, the Nokia 8 sports some quite chunky bezels, especially above and below display. That means you get very similar dimensions to the Galaxy, even though Nokia's phone is only 5.3 inches. The S8 is also fully water resistant, so can survive a tumble into liquid, while the Nokia 8 is merely splash proof. Still, while the Galaxy handset only comes with a glossy rear, the Nokia flagship can be snaffled in a choice of matte or polished aluminium finishes. Both blowers also offer a small selection of colours to suit your own personal tastes. You also get a fingerprint sensor no matter your choice, although we definitely prefer Nokia's front facing scanner. Samsung has housed the sensor around the back of the phone in a rather awkward position, which means you'll occasionally have to fumble to find it. If you're demanding super crisp visuals, then you'll be happy with either phone in this comparison. Both of these devices serve up 2K displays, although the exact resolution is slightly different thanks to the Galaxy S8's stretched aspect ratio. Colours are punchy, brightness levels are strong, and viewing angles are nice and wide, as you would expect from flagship handsets. Of course, the Galaxy S8 is also well and truly future-proof, offering full support for HDR video streaming. Still, as I said, both blows pack in plenty of storage space to carry around a massive media collection. You'll find 64 gigs of room no matter your choice, with full support for micro SD memory cards. Although Android is the OS of choice in both cases, the design of the user interface is actually very different. The Galaxy S8 offers quite a lot of bonus functionality, including Samsung's own S Health app to keep tabs on your lifestyle and track your movements, complete with a built-in heart rate monitor. A useful one-handed mode makes the phone easier to operate on the move, where you can even stream your gaming sessions live to the web. By comparison, the Nokia 8 delivers more of a raw version of Android Nougat. Although you don't get so many built-in features, this also means that you don't get any annoying duplication like you do on the Galaxy S8, which for instance packs two separate web browsers. And as an added bonus, Nokia owners are more likely to get full upgrade to Android O ahead of Samsung users. The Galaxy S8 is one of the most powerful handsets around, boasting either a Snapdragon 835 platform or Samsung's very own Exynos 8995 chipset depending on your region. Either way, you're getting a smooth everyday experience and the ability to play the latest games with a perfect frame rate. Likewise, the Nokia 8 also boasts the 835 chipset and Android once again runs like a dream. We're yet to fully test the Nokia 8's battery life, although it does boast a slightly more capacious battery than the Samsung Galaxy S8. We're expecting the Nokia phone to offer a little longer than Samsung's 24 hours of life, especially as it has a smaller screen to power. Still, both phones offer a form of fast charge, so you can expect close to a full recharge from just an hour at the plug. The Galaxy S8 sports a single lens 12 megapixel camera on the rear end, with an f1.7 aperture lens and dual pixel autofocus. The result is near instant photo capture, with excellent results in almost any conditions, even low light. Meanwhile, the Nokia 8 packs a dual lens camera, with two 13 megapixel f2.0 aperture lenses working together to capture nice crisp shots. That phase detection autofocus seems to be just as fast as the S8, and so far we're impressed by the image quality on offer. The Nokia 8 offers some neat Bokka style effects thanks to that dual lens setup, although the S8 does admittedly do a fine job of replicating this effect with its depth of field photo feature. Pro photographers have a number of manual controls in either case to get just the shot you desire. However, Samsung also has serious appeal for younger users with its selection of bizarre stickers and AR face masks, which range from the silly to the downright creepy. The Nokia 8 instead wants us to capture shots using both the front and rear cameras at the same time, which HMD is sadly calling a bothy. Both phones can shoot up to 4K resolution video, as well as time-lapse and slow motion footage. And you can also live stream your activities straight to Facebook or YouTube via the Nokia 8's camera app, something not offered by the Galaxy S8, despite Samsung previously supporting this via its live broadcast tool. Check out our full Galaxy S8 review and camera review and stay tuned for our in-depth Nokia 8 coverage. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. Cheers.